Good morning po to each and everyone and welcome po sa ating 33rd episode here in our devotion series dito po sa Book of um, Nehemiah. And we are, um, I am actually recording this, pre-recording this session po. Uh, this session and also Friday session I will be pre-recording. Dahil po dito sa Cambodia we have a holiday. Ang tawag po dito ay Water Festival. And um, uh, would like to take this time as well to uh, have more rest uh, pagdating po sa um, umaga and also more time with uh, to spend with my family. So I'm just uh, going to record two straight uh, sessions po and then we'll schedule this uh, to go live sa oras po ng ating devotion. Ngayon po sa episode 33 na ito, we are going to be uh, finishing uh, chapter number 9 because... Um, Pwede po nating uh, this is uh may kita po natin from verse number 22 to 31 ito po yung uh, dinidescribe ng Israel sa Panginoon yung cycle ng kanilang mga fathers alam naman po natin yung cycle ng Israel and they described a few of the um mga nang, uh, they described a few of the events during that cycle um but uh, I, we can go back to those events and look at those events and learn definitely will learn a lot uh, from those events But um, I'd rather na hindi na put, will not go away from Nehemiah uh, for this devotion series po. And I will try to be speaking more in English because we have a few requests na mas madami pong English so that they'll be able to tune in as well and understand what's happening. One of our Bible students or our only Bible student is uh, requesting that po so that he will be able to understand more of our devotion. So verses 22 to 31, this describes the cycle of, of Israel's relationship with God. And we all know this. Uh, you and I, we are not ignorant of this cycle. Um, lagi po ito binibigay sa atin as an example of uh, being stiff-necked or hard-headed. Yung pong mga ganyan, uh, napakatigas ng ulo ng mga Israelites na ito. So uh, all of these things, the Lord will bless them. They will enjoy the blessing. And after that, magi they will become complacent and then they will disobey. Tapos dyan, pa, uh, paparusahan sila ng Panginoon. They will get conquered. And then once they realize na, that they need God, they will cry unto the Lord, Lord, please save us. And then of course, the Lord rescues them, uses people to rescue them. In the time of the judges, ganyan yung ginawa niya. Uh, in, in the time, even, even during this time, ang Panginoon pa rin ang gumagawa ng mga milagro to rescue them. And then the Lord blesses them and they enjoy the blessing, they disobey, and then we repeat the cycle. That is what is happening. And yet, dito po sa verses 22 to 31, uh, verse number uh, dito po, verse number 31 is very uh, uh, is, is something na pwede po natin i-take note. Hap, tapos po nila, dinescribe yung cycle, dinescribe yung cycle, sabi sa verse 31, Nevertheless, For thy great mercy's sake, thou didst not utterly consume them, nor forsake them, for thou art a gracious and merciful God. And that is our God. Even though Israel uh, is in this cycle of obedience, disobedience, obedience, and disobedience, the Lord still did not utterly consume them. Ibig sabihin, hindi pa rin sila inubos ng Panginoon. And though the Lord is within His right to do that, But the Lord is merciful and gracious. Hindi niya po ginagawa yan. Ganyan din po sa ating buhay. Look back at your life. What kind of cycle do you have in your relationship with God? Right? A backsliding, revival, uh, uh, you, be, you being used, used in the ministry, backsliding, being discouraged, backsliding, revival, being used in the ministry. And then after that, uh, balik na naman po tayo sa, sa pagbabackslide and, and all of those things. Teka po, importante lang po ito. Okay, pasensya na po. Um, and, and, and all of those things, but the Lord is, st is still uh, allowing us ano po, to, to be still here and be used in the ministry. And yesterday, um, na-emphasize po natin yan uh, more sa ating devotion. And uh, that is still, yun po yung uh, uh, ginagawa po ng Panginoon. You know, even to these Israelite people, dito pong mga tao na pinili niya, He's merciful and He is uh, gracious sa kanila, still did not utterly consume them. Now, If, you will, if we will move to verse 32 to 37, may kita po natin dito that Israel has um, what they call this requested for the Lord to rescue them once again. And uh, if, you, if you remember, 
hindi pa po completely free ang Israel during this time. They are still under uh, the, what do you call this, uh, the rule of Persia. And pinapahirapan pa po sila during this time. They are still uh, being, uh, what do you call this, uh, they are still being uh, taxed. Okay, sila pa rin ang, ano, ang, ang, ang hinihingan. sila pa rin ay, ay pinapa, pinapahirapan sila pa rin ay hinihingan ng ng, uh, ng ng malaking tax yung buwis pataas ng pataas so after they describe lord this is our fathers ganito yung ginagawa nila but lord we are asking you once again please rescue us this time lord please rescue us again we need you to rescue us from these people and that is what they are asking uh, sa panginoon and that what that, that that is what they are pleading sa sa, sa panginoon during this time and uh, in their confession, there's something here that is very, uh, dito po sa verses number 32 to 37, meron po dito napaka-interesting na sinabi nila and na, na dapat part din po ng, ng ating prayer at confession sa Panginoon. Uh, hinahanap ko lang. Uh, uh, although hindi ko makita right now. Pero basically ang sinabi nila, Lord, we realize and we admit, Panginoon, na tama ka, you are right, and we are wrong. You are right, Again, I will repeat that you are right and we are wrong. So what, what we get from this is that in the beginning of our Christian life, tayo po, nung po tayo ay nagrepent, nung po tayo ay naligtas, niligtas ng Panginoon, we started with admitting to the Lord, Lord, you are right, we are wrong. In the first place, Lord, uh, you are right that salvation is by grace uh, through faith. And then we are wrong to trust our own works. Then we were wrong to trust our tradition. We were wrong to trust religion. And Lord, you are right. And we are repenting and facing and, 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 and coming to you for salvation. This is how we started. Dito po tayo nagsimula sa Christian life. But what we have to realize is all throughout our Christian life, dapat po marami itong beses natin sasabihin, Lord, you're right. I'm wrong. Lord, you're right. I am wrong. And the more we, 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 we see ourselves, the more we see the way we disobey the will of God, the more we will say, Lord, you are right, I am wrong. And palagi po natin gawin yan. Please never come to a time sa atin pong buhay, Kristiyano, that we think that we know more than God. That we think that we are right and God is wrong. Because when that time comes, dumating ka na sa ganong klaseng uh, estado sa iyong buhay, wala nang magiging paglago. Wala nang magiging uh, uh, glory tayo maibibigay sa Panginoon. Always remember that God is always right. His word is always right. His word is always true. So no matter what you think, no matter what your principle is, no matter what you, uh, uh, kung ano man ang tinatayuan mo, if that is against the word of God, you are wrong. God is right. So sana po ganyan po tayo. And then again, ang dali pong sabihin. It's easy to say this, but it's not that easy to apply it in our lives. Hindi po ganun kadalang i-apply. Why? Dahil many times as we read the Bible, as we study the Bible, as we listen to preaching, our will is always, makikita po natin, is always uh, against the will of God. And when that happens, okay, na ang naglalaban na yung gusto ko at gusto ng Diyos, madali po sabihin na, o oh, sige Panginoon yung sayo, pero mahirap pong gawin. Why? Because what we want is something that will be, we know, we think, that it will be good for us good for our family, practical, something that will help you in the future. That's what I want. And Lord, it's not wrong. It's not, it's not bad. But what you're saying is something na hindi ko maintindihan. It's something na hindi, hindi ko makita yung sarili ko na, to agree with what you're saying. But remember who we are talking to. We are talking to the creator of, of the universe. We're talking to the supplier of our needs. We're talking to the Almighty God. And it's impossible for Him to be wrong and for you to be right. So always, when there's that conflict, always utter these words, Lord, tama ka, I am wrong. And I'm going to agree with you. Verse number 38, the last verse of this chapter. And because of all this, okay, because of all the realizations, starting from chapter 8 and, chapter, and, and now here at the end of chapter 9, Lord, because of all this, because we realize that our fathers were in this cycle, because we realize how important your word is. Because we realize how sinful we are. Because we realize all of these things na napag-aralan natin the past week. 
because of all this, we make a sure covenant and write it. And our princes, Levites, and priests sail unto it. So next episode po natin, uh, uh, as we start chapter 10, we're going to look closely into that covenant and apply it into our lives. But I just want to make this application before we end uh, today. That the final stage po ng revival is our renewal of our commitment to obey God. Revival is not complete until and unless we say, Lord, I am renewing my commitment. Susunod po uli ako sa'yo. I am going to give my life to you from this moment, whatever you say, I will do. That should be the final stage of revival. Because if, if, if itong mga Israelites na ito, marami silang narealize sa kanilang buhay, uh, marami silang pinarealize sa Panginoon, but at the end of it, kalimutan na lang, uh, bayaan na lang, then it's all a waste of time. But because of all of these realizations and because they see their situation, we still need God to rescue us. Lord, we're going to make a sure covenant. And bukas, titignan po natin yung importansya ng covenant na ito and how we can do that to our Lord as well. Now, as we end this chapter, I just want to challenge you. I hope that itong realization of the Israelites will be your realization as well. Now, do we think, uh, uh, just, just a few questions for to steer your mind. Do you sometimes think that you are better than what you really are? Diba? Because what we saw here in chapters 8 and 9 is that these people saw their sinfulness, their uh, spiritual bankruptcy. Yun po bang nakita natin sa sarili natin? Or do we think of ourselves higher than that? You know, if you think of yourself higher than that, that's pride. Narealize ba natin itong mga kakulangan natin sa Panginoon? Do we have a good relationship with God and His Word? Kamusta yung relationship mo sa Bible? How is your Bible reading? Are you reading the Bible just for the sake of reading the Bible? Or are you reading the Bible to understand? Or as you read and understand the Bible, are you obeying it in your life? Is this something that you're doing? Okay. Is this something na, na uh, 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 commitment mo sa Panginoon? That Lord, I'm going to understand your word and whatever is there, I'm going to obey. Are we ready? Lastly, to, uh, this morning, are we ready to confess our sins to the Lord? Not only to confess, but to repent of it at any given time na pinarealize sa atin ng Panginoon. Chapter 8, chapter 9 of Nehemiah, great realizations. I had great realizations sa aking buhay. I hope you had that as well. Pero sana po, wag po, nating, wag po tayong tumigil sa realizations lang, but we make a commitment to the Lord. Tomorrow, starting tomorrow, uh, onwards, we're going to see this commitment that they made to the Lord. And sana gayahin po natin yung commitment na igagawin nila sa Panginoon. So that's it for me. This morning, I hope that you've learned something and that you uh, that, that uh, we're going to internalize this. And sana po, we'll see each other again tomorrow uh, at the same time po. Again, I'll, after this, end ko lang to, I'll record the next one po uh, for all of you para wala po tayong maskip na araw. So lamang po, God bless to each and everyone. Thank you.